Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Christina Alabato. Um, back for week three of my weekly vlog. Last week, I sort of like was looking over here. So I'm gonna try looking here this week. Is this less awkward? We'll see, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm so happy to be doing week three of my weekly check-in. We're talking about the week of the 24th of October through today, which is Sunday the 30th. How was your week as an actor, as an artist, as a writer, as a performer, as all of those things? Whoa, the light just shifted because a cloud came by. Ooh, spooky. It's Halloween tomorrow, which is exciting. Um, so I'm gonna check you in on my week and then I'm gonna go through your questions that you left me um, from last week's video. So many amazing wins last week. I heard about shows, I heard about plays being published. Incredible. If I don't respond right away, it's because craziness is over here, but I read every single comment. I just actually responded to a bunch of you. So happy to read those wins. We had a couple of slow weeks for some of you. Slow weeks happen all the time. They'll never stop happening. I have slow weeks all the time. Just eye on the prize. It will all work out great. We just got to focus, 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 and not get too freaked out when it's slow. Easier said than done, but yeah. Let's get to it today because it's my day off, and this week for me was insane so i'm about to do this video and go relax very important people we gotta stay in check with our bodies and our souls and our spirits and take breaks right right so this week was crazy busy for me obviously the main thing that happened because you all know if you've been following this vlog i'm here staying in the middle of nowhere new jersey shooting a zombie movie called the zombie wedding it has been so much fun i am so the the feeling that I have, people keep asking me, how are you doing? How's it going? I am just so grateful. I am so grateful. That is the word that I keep feeling. I'm grateful to be working. I'm grateful to be connecting with all these new artists and actors and people that I've never met before. I am so grateful to be sharing the set space and um, the camera with legendary actors that I have looked up to forever and watching them work is incredible for me as an actor to like see them work and see their process. We're doing a campy comedy and it could not be more fun so I'm grateful for laughing all day every day on this set and I'm just so happy that I've made a new group of incredible friends. The cast of people that I get to be with all day every day it's a new group of friends which is like I said last time not always the case with films because scheduling is crazy and it just doesn't necessarily it just doesn't necessarily happen like this all the time with a film so I just feel so freaking lucky and grateful and so happy to be here that's how I feel about the week how did the week go well if we're starting on Monday I'm looking at my computer here the 24th through today I shot every day of the week this week so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday which was yesterday I was on set shooting the zombie wedding oh my god there's a huge wasp outside this window thank god it's a window because I would be running on a ladybug Okay, like National Geographic here outside my window. So every single day of the week this week, I was on set. It's interesting being on set of a film and going every day is a little bit of a different experience than when I, you know, do a day on a set in New York on a TV show or I'm doing like a really quick short film. You get into a rhythm and it's something, one of the many reasons why I'm grateful is that it's cool to get into a rhythm and not feel like you don't know anything that's going on, which happens a lot of the time with on camera, especially if you're not like a main character or, you know, in multiple episodes. It can be very much like, I have no idea what's going on. You show up, you do your scene, you leave, and then you see it when it comes out. And not that that's even a bad thing, that's just how it goes. But this has been so cool to be on the call sheet every day. The call sheet is what we get the day before every time we're on set the next day and to be able to play every day and I know all of the crew now and I know all of the actors that I'm working with and I have a great relationship with the makeup and hair people and yeah I've only been here for a couple of weeks but like when you're working with people for 12 hours a day every single day and you also live in the same place as them you get close pretty quick so I feel really fortunate as an actor as a creator as a collaborator our director Micah is amazing he's just been so much fun and we're all just having the best time it's a comedy it should be fun and we are having so much fun um, obviously there are things about it that are stressful because you know we're doing this really fast you know we're making a full feature in a really short amount of time it's a little bit stressful at times but everybody has a great attitude so it's been really really wonderful every day I was called at like a different time there weren't any super early call times this week, which is nice. The earliest I was called was about eight o'clock. I had one day this week where we were shooting at night in a cemetery where I was called, you know, for 
that was like a full 12, 13 hour day, which was really long. But other than that, our days have been, you know, around nine, 10 hours, which is really not bad for shooting. And uh, we've been in a bunch of different locations in this area in New Jersey. And uh, it's been just really cool for me to get used to the rhythm of a set. I haven't had that privilege too often. I felt that way a little bit on Better Nate Than Ever. I was on that set for about, you know, within the amount of time of two weeks, I was on, on and off for about 10 days, which was really great. And again, my first inkling of what it feels feels like to really understand um, the rhythm of a set in being involved for more than a couple of days, as were my other projects that I've done. Um, so yeah, so it's been really fun. I can't tell you anything about what we shot. The movie is, you know, top secret as far as what we're doing in it. You know, if you look up the project, you can learn about some of the people that are in it. You could look it up on IMDb and see some of the um, wonderful actors that I'm getting to share my time with. And uh collaborate with and hang out with it's just amazing but I can't tell you too much about the show but or about the movie but it's been so fun there are zombies obviously zombie wedding um my character Nikki is a little bit of a badass and so I've had some really fun stunt stuff that I've gotten to do and um I can't wait for you to see it not sure when it's coming out where it's coming out but I will keep you posted on that but it's been a week of shooting and I am absolutely exhausted in the best possible way um it feels good to work another ladybug what does this mean okay anyway it feels amazing to work every day and feel exhaustion from like using your art does that make sense so like you know i'm one of those people that i love working i love working i love working hard i love working a lot i love working long hours i love all of it it brings me fire it makes me feel like what we're doing you know, what we're doing is hard. Being an actor, being a creator, our crew, everyone involved in this movie, it is a very grueling life and time when you're shooting a movie. I mean, our costume people, for those of you that are into costumes, they've worked like 90 hours this week. It is crazy because they've been dressing hundreds of extras and all of the um, main cast and all of our supporting cast. And I mean, the amount of stuff that they've had to do. And our movie takes place on a lot of days. So what that means is they have a lot more costumes because it's not just like one day or a couple of days for the characters in the movie. It's over time. Um, and they're incredible. So everybody's working really, really hard. Um, this week definitely caught up to me. Yesterday, I was very, very tired. It's just a lot. It's a lot for your brain. You know, movie, TV, and film is um, a lot of sit around and wait. You'll hear a lot of people that do on camera talk about that because you get ready really early and you kind of sit and you wait. And then when they go, you're ready, go, you go, you do your scene, it's over. So most of the day is almost sitting, waiting, learning your lines, being ready, going, and then when it's done, it's done, and then you wait for your next scene or you get released and you go home. So it's really been a cool week. I loved my scenes that I got to work on. We had some really great group scenes. And then um, we had like our all skate moments, which is like our full cast um, in the movie, you know, zombie wedding. So when the wedding actually happens, everybody's there. So it was really cool to like experience the entire principal cast. So all, you know, I think there's 13 or 14 of us together in, a, in scenes. Like that doesn't happen that often in movies that the entire cast gets to come together. So it's been really, really cool. And I've had a lot of laughs and it's been really fun. So today this day off feels really nice because dang, we've been working hard. I'm tired, my body's hurting and uh, I'm ready to rest. So I'll be spending the rest of the day resting. Um, other than that this week, it's been pretty quiet on the audition front in general. I just did a self tape. So I had one self tape today, um, legit. It was for a short film. And then other than that, that's what that was my only legit audition. I had four animation auditions that I did throughout the week. So those were my auditions. Um, again, Legit Land has been kind of slow for me personally, which we talk about mental health on this all the time, can be challenging for me. I'm sure it's challenging for y'all too when you feel like, okay, there's no auditions happening. How am I going to get my next job? But I'm here to tell you as somebody that's in a different position than other people, we're all at different positions in our career, right? We've all done some stuff. We want to do more stuff and it's all calibrated within that. So from me who has done a certain amount of stuff, whatever that means to you, I still have slow weeks where my brain goes, oh my God, you're never going to get an audition again. You're never going to book again, even while I'm working. So that's why it's super important for us to be thinking about those things and calming ourselves at all times because that stuff will always be there. It's how you handle it that keeps you in the game. That stuff, that stuff can pass through my mind, but it passes quicker and I'm like, hey, Christina, you're good. You're on a, you're on a film set right now. It's okay that it's a little bit slow. It might be a sign because you need to focus on this film. You don't need to be worrying about other things. Be in the moment, girl. So that was my lesson for myself this week. Though I didn't have much of a hard time getting out of my head about that because I'm so freaking happy to be working and to be here. So that's all I have to say about that. 
I had time for three coachings this week. Um, I had one randomly during the week and then I had have two today that I'm doing just to, you know, keep my coaching business up. I love coaching. It's very important to me. So I'll never let that go. And I'll try as much as I can, even when I'm on set to make it happen. That was my week, really. I got a little bit of scheduling for some readings and workshops I get to be doing in December, which I'm very excited about. And in November, um, in theater land. And that's it. Um, on the work front, on the you know business side, that's what happened. So that was my week. I had a lot of wins this week. I really, you know, I was super prepared. My win this week was solidifying an understanding and knowing now that I know what I'm doing on set, which feels good. So it feels good to feel that I belong. And I, I think my win this week was really understanding and really deeply feeling like I belong on set here doing movies, doing on camera stuff. Um, And that feels good. So I'm really happy to report that. My wins also were, God, this wasp is so big. Sorry, it's like so distracting. Um, And my wins also were like being in the moment on set and not allowing, you know, stress around me to like get in my, you know. So those were my wins this week. Um, Super, super grateful for this week of work. I'm so excited. Next week, I'm still here shooting the movie. So this video might be a little bit similar next week, but we'll see how my auditions go next week. And then I'm heading home. So That was my week. It was really great. I'm so happy. I miss Bob, my husband, because I'm here. We did move hotels. We had an issue at the other hotel, so I'm at a new hotel. Um, Way nicer. I'm so happy. But this is my new room, and I'm very happy to be here. And I can actually see the fall leaves on the other side of this window that I'm sitting at, and it's so beautiful. I love the fall. So after this video, I'm going to go outside and sit and enjoy the sun, which I can't wait because it's a nice day today. Um, Before I do that, though, let me answer some questions from last week. I have my computer here. Kind of I'm giving like short-ish answers to some of these and we can always like I can always do a separate video about certain um like once I'm done with this vlog I mean who knows how long I'll do the vlog maybe I'll do it forever but after after some time passes I'm going to go through and see kind of what the through lines were and maybe make specific videos you know about money and business and all that stuff maybe one about mental health so I'll go from the top thank you for all of your questions and all of your wins so much awesome stuff Andrea or Andrea not sure you say it ask how do you stay passionate about your passion on days when you don't feel passionate that is a great question one of the reasons that I love being an actor and love and feel very privileged to get to do this for a living is because I truly, deeply in my core soul love doing this. I love acting. I love playing. I love singing when I'm doing theater. I love connecting with audiences when I'm doing theater. I love being on set and having all these people working on this thing together. I love making people laugh and having scenes and, and, and becoming a character. I love it. I love it. And I think if I didn't love it this much, I wouldn't do it because there's aspects of this career that are very, very challenging. As every career has, I don't think anything is necessarily easy, right? But it doesn't have to be painstakingly hard. Now, as far as passion goes, that's why I said that is because even though this is my life and I love it, it also is my work, my job, my career. It is not just for fun. It's I, get, I am lucky because I get to have my work and my job and my career coincide with having fun because it's fun, but it's not always fun. And some days if I'm down or I'm in a weird place or I'm dealing with other personal things, it's hard to want to do a comedy or want to get on stage and be Gretchen Wieners if I cried the whole night before because something happened. And sometimes you just are like, I'm not feeling it today. I'm from the school of thought that one of the gifts that we get from being actors is that I get to pour my soul into a different character and a different place. Meaning if I'm having a really down day or if I'm feeling like, oh, I just don't feel it today. That has nothing to do with my character, right? So as an actor, I accept and love myself for my feelings, but it's not about me. It's about Gretchen Wieners. It's about Nikki Klein, who I'm playing in this zombie movie. And Nikki might not be in a bad mood that day. Maybe she is in a bad mood, in which case, cool, my scenes really work with how I'm feeling. But if this is some comedy scene where Nikki is feeling it, even though Christina's not feeling it, Nikki is feeling it. So I separate the two, which is really helpful to me as an actor. But I'm telling you, Y'all, it's okay if you don't feel passionate sometimes and you're like, I just don't want to do it. Sometimes you will have to do it because it's your job. I don't have the privilege of being like, you know, I'm just not going to go to set today. I'm not feeling it. We don't get to do that. That's part of the job. You have to pull yourself up and do it. And that's the reality of it. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. Like you're doing it. 
or you're going to get fired or never hired again. So it is sort of like you have to figure out how to play that game, meaning prepping yourself with good mental health strategies and um, ways to cope if you're feeling down and how you can get yourself up. Does that mean I'm always chipper and perfect every day? Absolutely not. But I understand what I signed up for and I understand what I have to do to provide the service that I am giving to this movie, to a theater show, to whatever. Um, And that's part of the hard part of what we do is you got to just do it. You know, every once in a while in theater, I have an understudy. So like if I need a mental health day, I'll take it. But I try really hard not to do that personally. Personally, that's my, that is me, the way that I feel. It has nothing to do with how other people feel. I know friends that have to take mental health days in order to reset and be able to do it again. I feel like it doesn't help me when I do that. I've tried. It doesn't help me. Um, What helps me more is diving into the character, also being where I'm at. It's okay if I go to the theater and I'm not in a great mood. Um, As long as I connect with my scene partners, I got it. And And I respect the building. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel about that. And it's okay sometimes to not feel it. You just... You go with how you're feeling. You accept and say, it's okay today that I don't love this as much as I loved it yesterday. Accept that, feel that, fight that for your character, not for you. Don't say, I'm not, I can't feel this way. It's not about saying, no, no, you can't feel that way. It's about saying, what is my job and what do I need to do to get through it today? Maybe I won't have as much fun as yesterday, but maybe tomorrow I will. So one day at a time. And that kind of goes along with your other question, um, which is how do you deal with depression and mental health? And again, I can do a whole video more on what this is like, but it all has to sort of do with that in that this industry kind of requires you to show up. um, And it's our job on this side to figure out how best I can handle doing that when I'm having a hard time. And I have a lot of different ways that I combat that personally. I can make a whole video about um, mental health in this business if y'all are interested. But thank you for the questions. How much time in advance do you get your script to memorize your scenes when doing films? Great question. This question comes from Easy. Such a different part of the entertainment industry is doing a movie because it's so different from theater. So for instance, this movie, I'll use it as an example. I got the script for Zombie Wedding when I first auditioned. I read it. I actually was auditioning for a different character. I booked a different character than I auditioned for. So I'd read the script. When I booked the character, they sent me a script. They they label the drafts by color. So I got like pink draft. Usually you know that there's already a new draft even when you receive a draft. So that's why memorizing is always a hit or miss because you're like, okay, am I going to memorize this as it's given to me? Even though I know they're probably going to rewrite. Another ladybug. Okay. So with that, I actually don't freak out too much about memorizing before we start the film because the way that it works is every day before, so I knew what days I was filming. I got a a schedule that said Christina's on these 12 days or whatever. So I know the night before, it's always very last minute, they will send me the call sheet and sides for what we're filming on that day. And that's usually when I memorize what I'm doing is the night before and also in the makeup chair the day of. Again, every actor does this differently. I was familiar with all the scenes I was going to be doing, but I did not take the time before to sit and memorize them exactly as they were because especially in this setting of this specific movie, it's a very loose set. The writers are very loose. We're improving a lot of it. And also it is changing. So I don't waste my energy memorizing until the night before. Exceptions. If I have a huge scene that I know is going to be shot, so let's say I had like a four page really complicated scene, I would have memorized that and dealt with it changing. But for me and as Nikki in general, it's group scenes. Um, I have a couple of shorter scenes with people, but they're very loose and flowing. So I usually memorize the night before. Again, I'm familiar with all of the scenes. It's not the first time I've read them. I've thought about them. I've read them. I've read them. But I haven't done memorization work until the night before or in the makeup chair. You get these little mini sides. That's how it works every day when you get on set of a movie or a TV show. They give you these little mini sides. They're like this little. And you take them around with you while you're getting your makeup done because it takes hours. You're looking at what we're shooting. You're memorizing as you're working and drinking your coffee. And that's sort of how it goes. Again, if I was doing some complicated text, I may have a different answer to this. But everything I've done on camera has been sides the night before. I've read them. Now I'm really working on memorization with based on the changes and I go. I'm trying to think if that's been different anywhere else. Um, let me think. Let me think. Um, and like for TV, totally different ball game. You don't get the script. Um, when I did like God friended me, I didn't know what the episode was about. I had my audition sides. I didn't know if I was in more of the scenes or less of the scenes and you get them the night before. So Good luck. That's how that works, which is crazy. So the more you can practice memorizing, the better. And the more you memorize, the better you get at it. That's my um, that's my uh, my thought about that. So uh, yeah. 
that's how it is. But now that I actually am thinking about it on Better Nate Than Ever, I did memorize my scenes. They changed a little bit, but not too much. So it's really based on whatever you're comfortable with. If you feel like you want to put in the time, if you get the script early, do it. But don't always expect that because sometimes you don't get the script at all and you just get the size the night before. So again, depends. Please talk more about becoming an LLC. Um, this question is from Nikki. Uh, congrats on your um, being a published playwright, Nikki. That's so exciting. You know, I'm not an, an LLC. I'm a C Corp. So uh, everybody kind of does it a little differently. The advice I have for anyone looking to incorporate LLC, C Corp, S Corp, any of that stuff is to have an accountant. I use an accountant. I trust her with that. It's way more, too complicated for me and I don't have the time to learn it. I have friends that want to learn about it and they do. Um, I do not. I have not done that. I mean, I know about it. I just don't know about it where I do it for myself. So I don't know much about it, but I would definitely seek an accountant that could help you decide on LLCing or um, incorporating yourself. Covington, hope I'm saying that right, is in the process of auditioning for college musical theater auditions. Woo woo! Um, you are wondering if I have any audition tips. Yes. So audition advice in general, um, and this also ties in with Ellis, uh, Ellis's question, do you have any advice on how to find auditions? So auditioning in general, I should do a whole video about auditioning. Tips for college musical theater auditions for everyone doing these. You are not a finished product. These colleges are not looking for finished products. You're going to college to learn, to be molded, to move forward as an artist. So you need to release this idea of perfection and of being, you know, some golden star person that, that they'll have in their, you know, in their program. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't work your butt off for these auditions. You need to work hard. Pick a song that showcases you. You do not need to pick a song that is as high as you possibly can sing. Give yourself material that you connect with, that you sound amazing singing, and that you can really connect story-wise. I have heard from professors. I have heard myself in audition settings when I'm watching people audition. It is not about how high and hard you can sing. It is about how much you connect with me. Now, if you can connect with me while singing high and hard, go for it, baby. But that is not going to get you screaming a G. I'm talking collective you, not you, Covington. Screaming a G is not gonna get you into a program if you're dead in the eye or if you don't have a story or if you're just like, listen to me, I can sing amazing. It has to have story and heart and soul and guts. It can be happy guts. It doesn't have to be oh, some excruciating thing. But everything that you're doing, every type of song, every type of monologue has to have body and emotion and talent. So it's not not about the talent. It's not not about sounding amazing and not not about connecting. But it is so much more than that. And you, your job as the person prepping for auditions for musical theater is to find material that you really connect with and that you know will show who you are with the knowledge and understanding that you're not a finished product and they're not expecting that. You're going there to learn and grow. So release yourself from this idea that you're going to have a perfect tape or a perfect audition. Perfection is unattainable. It is unattainable in everything we do. And I actually think is the antithesis of artistry because artistry has to be free and spontaneous with no ego telling you that sucked, blah, 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 blah. Yes, watch your takes. Don't send something if you're not proud of it. If you think it sounds bad or you had a weird flat note, do it again. But allow yourself the freedom of being authentically you, not trying to be Sutton Foster, not trying to be Sam Polly, not trying to be blah, blah, blah. Just be you. Just be you. You can't be those other people. Those other people are amazing. They're amazing in their own way and you're amazing in your own way. And the programs will recognize you as an individual, not you trying to be like Erica Henningsen. They want to see you. Yeah, that's my advice about college musical theater auditions. Let it fly, baby. Listen and loose. That's all I always think about when I'm doing auditions. Listen and be loose. Be loose, spontaneous, have fun. You can always schedule a coaching with me as well if you wanna go over your material or work on it, help taping it, etc. I can talk more about musical theater auditions, college auditions specifically if you want, so hit me up in the comments if you're interested in that. Last but not least, Ellis asked, how do you um, find auditions? There are plenty of websites you can go on, Ellis, um, especially if you're just starting. The first thing I can tell everybody to do if you haven't done it yet is go on Actors Access and make yourself a profile. A lot of auditions are fed through there. Breakdown Express is the main place that auditions happen for actors like me, actors like Tom Cruise, your favorite Broadway actors, and small regional theater projects as well. So Actors Access is the place to go. So go sign up for Actors Access. It's 
It's free to sign up, costs a little bit to audition, but put up your reels there. If you don't have a website, make a website. You have to have a presence online. It's very important. Um, start with that process. Get on backstage.com. Anybody else that does auditions like that, I have an agent. So if there's new websites that you all find auditions on, I know people find them on Playbill as well. Put them in the comments. Help out, Alice. Let's help out each other. Let's hear your wins, y'all. Um, that was my week. Next week, I wish you all the best of luck. The week of October 31st, Halloween, moving into November. So we're looking at October 31st through November 6th, which is crazy to me that it's already Halloween and November. I hope you all have an incredible week. My thought to leave you with is gratitude. I feel a lot of gratitude this week, and I challenge you to think for a second about what you're grateful for. It might feel cheesy. It never feels cheesy to me because there's always something. Even on my down, down days, I could be grateful for the fuzzy socks that are on my feet um, or grateful for that audition I had two years ago that made me feel amazing. So I challenge you, especially if you're feeling down or feeling low um, or slow, what are you grateful for? Because there's always something, even the tiniest thing. So best of luck next week. Happy Halloween. I want to know what you're all dressing as. I'm going to be dressing as Nikki Klein, my character in Zombie Wedding, because we're filming um, tomorrow on Halloween, which is actually amazing. I get to film a zombie movie on Halloween. What could be better? And I want to hear about your wins from this past week. Please put them in the comments. Respond to each other. Give each other like a woo woo. Yes, girl, you got this. Yes, person, you are the best. All that stuff. Let's all... um you know, be, be there for each other. Continue this community of wins. I want to hear about them. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for making me happy. Thank you for watching this vlog. Pass this along and let me know questions in the comments. I kind of love doing it this way. Weekly check-in, answer questions. Love you all. Happy Halloween.